told what things were done in the way and how he had known them in breaking bread. And as they thus spoke, Jesus himself stood in the midst of the sea and said unto them, Peace be unto you. And they were terrified and affrighted. Or if I could put it in my own words, they were scared stiff. And supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why trouble ye? And why do thy thoughts arise in thy hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that is I myself handle me, and see, for a spirit have not flesh and bones, as you see me have. Now we have a problem, that I said we're going to come back to. Colossians 1, 15, talks about Jesus Christ. And you might want to read the preceding and proceeding verses. It says, who is the image of the invisible God? The firstborn of every creature. Now, I've got a problem with that. I believe it, but there's a problem. How can you have an image of something that's invisible? Because if the image, if, the, if you make an image of something that's invisible, it's going to be invisible as well. If you make an image of me, it's going to look like me. You see, I could take an empty jar and say that is an image of oxygen. You ain't going to see anything in it because oxygen is invisible. So therefore the image is invisible. But we know Jesus is the image of God and yet Jesus was visible. They saw him. So how can you have something that is an image of something that is visible when it... When it when what it's the image of is invisible. Just think about that. So we've got problems here that we have to that, 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 that we have to look at. How do you make a visible image of something that's invisible? It causes it, it gets our mind thinking. So therefore, when it says the image of the invisible God, it cannot be the image of what God looks like. Because if, if Jesus was the image of what God looks like, Jesus would be invisible. Because God is invisible. We, 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 have, just, we have just read it. Now unto the King, eternal, immortal, invisible. So if Jesus is the image of what God looks like, Jesus would be invisible. And yet we know that he was visible. Blind Bartimaeus saw him and cried out, Jesus, last night. No, blind Bartimaeus didn't see him. He was blind. I better say that The crowd saw him. The woman with the issue of blood saw him. Mary and Martha saw him. Judas Iscariot saw him when he went to kiss him. So Jesus was visible. And yet the Bible says he's the image of the invisible God. And you've got to think about that. You see, if I was made in your image, what would I look like? You. Exactly. If I make an image of you, it ain't going to look like a flower, is it? No. going to look like you. So if the, if, the, if the image, if you're in the image of something that is invisible, what are you going to be? Invisible. invisible. So obviously it cannot be talking about the way God looks because Jesus was seen. And yet we know that when God created, you and I were created in the image of God. Genesis 1, 27. Genesis 1, 27. So God created man in his own image and the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Now, you and I are not invisible. If you don't believe me, look at the person sitting next to you and see if you can see them. <laughs> can you see me? 
Yes. Then I'm not invisible. And yet I'm made in the image of God who is invisible. But yet you can see me. So obviously it's not talking because God doesn't look like me. God hasn't got two eyes, two, you know, two legs. God is, God is everywhere at the same time. God is a spirit. God is omnipotent, omniscient and omnipresent. God knows everything. I don't know everything. I don't know near everything. I'm still learning. I wish I did. You know, I wish I did know everything. I wouldn't need to study so much. <laughs> Someone says, do you know your Bible? I said, if I knew it, I, if I knew it, I'd stop, I'd stop studying. I wouldn't need to read it anymore. I know more than I did, but I'm still learning. And the more I learn, the more I need to know. Because every time I find out something, it only causes more questions that need to be answered. I'm never, I, I'm always learning. I will, I will never be, I will never know everything. Even in heaven, we're not going to know everything. You and I will never be God. We'll never be God. We, we might know more than we know now. But you see, you cannot know everything that God knows. You can only know as much as God wants you to know. And God hasn't revealed everything in his word, but he revealed as much as he wants us to know. And, we're, and one of the things I've learned in Bible study is where God, is when the Bible doesn't say something, don't guess. Just accept it. You know, someone said to me, where did Cain get his wife from? I said, why? You looking for one? <laughs> well, there is an answer to that, but I won't go into that now. That's another subject. Okay. So what does it mean then to be in the image of God? Does the Bible give an answer? I believe it does. Now, you might want to, I don't think I'm going to put these down on your notes, so you're going to have to write them down. Colossians 3.10. Colossians 3.10 And having put on a new man which is renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created him. Now notice that. The ear is the word. The ear is the key. It's got a physical look. But we, having put on a new man which is renewed in the knowledge of, in the, knowledge of the image. Not in the physical appearance. Because it, if it was a physical appearance then you and I would be invisible, but we're not invisible. He's talking about we are created in the knowledge of him, in the image of his knowledge, in other words. Uh, Ephesians 4, verses 23 to 24. Ephesians 3, sorry, Ephesians 4, 23 to 24. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind, that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and holiness. So being in the image of God has to do more with our character than, than, than a literal appearance. And then, we, as we just read, Colossians one fifteen, it was the image. So. The word image and likeness evidently do not refer to visible or bodily likeness. 